Okay, the moment of truth. I'm honestly a little bit scared to try it. Okay, you know what, fuck it. If I get sick, I get sick. I got invited by the village to grab some fish from the dock. So I hopped on the quad and set out for my first taste of Alaskan King Salmon. Everything going in for the fresh bread. Now, I've never gutted or filleted a fish before, so this was kind of rough. The only part I really remember is sticking a knife in the butthole and going all the way up. But all things considered, I didn't think I did too shabby. So before I get to the really weird stuff I ate, let me show you some of the more normal stuff. Right here, I prepared some salmon, obviously, coated it with some olive oil, garlic, and some vegetables to top it off. So now this is the final product of the fish. I just put in my rice, a uh, pot of rice so I can eat it easier. Got my condiment, so here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna try to do that makeup tutorial thing. Here we go. Nice, moist, and even though you put, I put the seasonings on it, you can really taste how fresh that salmon was. I mean, it was literally just, just in the river today. And one thing about this Alaskan salmon that's different from the store-bought salmon is it's a lot sweeter and it's a lot richer, if that makes sense. It tastes like salmon, but a lot more. So, here's some more. Mm. That's good stuff. Time to be a good Asian. Soy sauce. Gotta eat it with a little bit of rice. Mm. <laughs> that is good. That is so damn good. I looked up a recipe for fish head soup, but I didn't have everything. So I kind of just took what I had and poured it in. Forgot to video myself pouring in the cream and you can barely see myself pouring the fish heads, but I promise you they're all there. Okay, so I did try what the recipe said and to pick apart the fish head and put it in the, um, and separate it to make it easier to eat. But honestly, I think I just lost too much of the meat and all that good stuff. So I have my bowl of ramen over here and my fish head over here. So let's go ahead and try it. Ooh. Look at that. We have that nice. Mm. That's very good. You have that nice meaty part of salmon. Here we go. And then, let's have a bite of our ramen. That is actually really freaking good it's really rich like the cream and butter and this totally takes away any overly fishy flavors and it just is super satisfying extremely like flavorful and good so let's go ahead and do another one all right let's go ahead and get this nice fleshy piece, lots of skin on there. Let's get some veggies in here. You know, I gotta hit it with that Filipino eating style. Even soup, I gotta eat with my hands. Oh yeah, oh. exactly. Hmm. I can't believe people throw away the fish in. It is so flavorful. It's different from the fillets I've been eating. If you're into cartilage, 
this is definitely the way to go. It's just gooey in a good way. That's like the best way I can describe it. Mmm. It is an interactive food, so it is gonna be very involved. You're gonna be you're gonna be picking through it to make sure you don't eat any bones. There's some things you can't eat, so it's fun. Fun active food. In Asian culture, you already know which is the best part of the fish. Here we go. The eyeball. Mmm. That is all that gelatinous stuff I was talking about. That's just the epitome of it. Mmm. It's really good. All right, and now for the moment you've been waiting for, time to see me cook and eat the semen sack and ovaries of the salmon. So just keeping it simple, found a recipe, but I was like, you know, can't be too hard. Salt, flour, gonna go ahead and deep fry it. Panning it down to make sure it's nice and dry. Making sure it's evenly coated with all that good stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pan fry it in some butter. You know, gotta make this healthy. There we go, nice and good. Yep, some butter. The butter started getting angry at me, so I had to get a shield. And then once I calmed it down, I just basted it with the butter and cooked it and fried it up real good. Okay, the moment of truth. Here we go. I cooked the hell out of it because honestly, there weren't a lot of good directions on how to cook this. It just said flip until golden brown. Uh, I'd rather have it be too well done than too rare, especially after cleaning these. So here we go. I'm honestly a little bit scared to try it, but I mean, I cooked it long enough, right? Had to. Mm. Okay, how about just, we'll just try a nibble at first. Oh. That's really fucking good. That's good. Okay, you know what, fuck it. If I get sick, I get sick. That is tasty. That is really good. It tastes like... <laughs> this is gonna sound stupid, but it tastes like an egg, but fish. I mean, obviously that's what this is. These are fish eggs. But even on sushi and caviar, it doesn't really taste like that. But all the things that you would get from an egg, it's yolkiness, it's creaminess. You really get it here. Now, something I've never had before. And I don't think you'd find this in a lot of restaurants the salmon milt. Honestly, this is like basically a ball sack, but I always said I'd like to try mountain oysters. I guess these are ocean oysters, but not really oysters. Okay, let's try this out. Again, I'm scared that I didn't cook this enough. Mmm. Wow, honestly, that just, that just tastes like fish. Like there's nothing. It tastes like fish, but a little bit organy. The his and hers bonus combo bite. Honestly, 
It just tastes like fish. Like, chicken liver tastes way more off from chicken than this. Chicken gizzards taste way more off than this. Like, this legit just tastes like fish. Hope you guys enjoyed me eating salmon, Alaskan salmon for the first time. Just let me know what else you want to see from me in the weeks I have last left in Alaska. So send me a text if you have my number. If not, drop a comment down below. And yeah, keep on following me in Alaska.